edition of the Belly Dance Wikis. Today, instead of doing a combination or a drill, we're going to be looking at different ways to use your figure eights to move you through space. So sideways, forward, around, and some ideas that can perhaps put some more interest into your choreography. So let's get started. Okay, so first let's talk about the basic movement that we are going to be working with today. So we're going to be using a horizontal figure eight, both in its forward and backward form. So when I think of a forward figure eight, I'm thinking about going forward towards the corner and then going backward around the curve. So I'm going forward and around, forward and around. So I'm going from here. Now to me, a backwards figure eight aims to the back and comes around the front. So if you use your verse terminology for those things, that's all fine, as long as we both know which direction we're going. So there's our basic figure eight. So if you're new to figure eights and you were practicing them weighted on two feet, before you start moving with them, you're going to want to start to get used to doing a full weight change with your feet before you start to take your feet into any patterns going anywhere. So first off, let's look at just basically moving to the side with your figure eights. So using a forward figure eight, we're going to go forward and around and up here. So we're going to step out to the side with our figure eight curve that goes onto the side and then bring the feet in as we come in for the other side. So we go around and here and around and then go to the other side, stepping out and here. So you can take a fairly large step and make a nice wide figure eight or you can keep it nice and tiny if that's the look you're, that you're going for. So now let's start to add some other things into this, moving to the side. So if you take this figure eight, moving to the side here, and you go one, two, three, and taking some steps with that, one, two, and as you take the third step, take a two-step turn. Turn, out, out, step, and turn. So going to the other side. Out, out, step, and turn. Out, out, step, and turn. Out, out, step, and turn. Now let's look at traveling sideways with a backwards figure eight. So here, we're going to go around the back. So as we step out, we're going to go around and around and around and around. So traveling this way to the side. Now this has a much more sneaky, kind of a curvy kind of a look, which is a lot of fun. So you can definitely play that up by adding some extra angle into your upper body and some snake arms. So here, so adding some extra curve into other body parts, like that, in and here. So as you're coming around here, you're elongating through the body here and reaching with this arm. And then as you're coming back, so you've got an opposite snake arm going with that. One of my favorite things to do with figure eights, traveling sideways, is to make a little flip turn. I find them very useful. They add a lot of dynamic element to things. It lets you turn around in a very practical manner, and, and there's lots of things you can connect to it. So I find them a lot in my combination with my choreographies, personally. So here, this is a flip turn. You'll have one, two, three, and as I turn around, turn without changing weight on my foot. Now I just did that one from a standing figure eight, but you can definitely do that from a traveling one as well. So one, two, three, and turn. One, two, three, and turn. So I have to be careful with my camera angle here. I don't go off the frame. So um, now again, you can make a nice really long stream of things like that when you combine perhaps your uh, one with a two-step turn as well as a flip which can make a really nice traveling for a group in a circle because you have people turning in and out and it's a very nice complex pattern. Especially if you have people doing the flip and the two-step turn and alternating at different times. And that can really look very ornate. So if you have a nice large group in a circle. So how that would look, just as one person right here, we're gonna go one, two, three, and turn. One, two, three, and flip. So that's an idea right there. Now let's look at moving forward and backwards. So if you're going to go and move forward, you can do this by kind of turning this into a bit of a zigzag. So you can go forward, two, three, and then change your angle, two, three, and this invites a lot of nice arms to 
to add to this. And then we'll move you forward. Now we can also move backwards with this. It's helpful to use the backwards figure eight to do that. So you can go back two, three, and back two, three, and again, you can start to play with the arms and find something that fits your style and your music. So you want to take a fair amount of distance in your step going forward and your step going back. So you're going to really take your whole body back over this leg and make sure you come back weighted over this leg before you turn around to come and shift your weight this way. Because if you're using this for the purposes of actually getting some distance in your space, you're going to need to make sure it's a real step back. Now, of course, if you just want the angle on that movement and you're not really interested in the distance, then you can definitely take a smaller step. So now let's look at turning around ourselves. So here, let's take our figure eight and we're gonna point it outwards, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use some, our, some directions. We're gonna start out just with some corners here. So we're gonna go up to the side. One, two, three, four, and then I'm gonna turn. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four. Now if you have a costume where your lower leg is showing or you have slits, it's very nice to make sure this leg is very decorative. Of course, you know, you can do that under your skirt as well, but if it's going to show, then you probably want to make sure you have something nice going on with your foot as you turn around. And again, you want to make sure your arms support this. So when you're going to the side, don't put this arm up, block your face to show off your arm, and it's going to make sure if you have a high arm, that's the one that's at the back. And at the back over here, you can stay even. And then turning to the side again, you want to make sure that the line towards your face is open if you're going to do something like that. Now, you don't have to take only four points. You can also take eight points. So for eight points, I would go to the side and to the corner and around. And I might move a, more, a little more quickly with that, perhaps only taking one full figure eight to each position. So to the side, to the corner, to the front, to the corner, to the side, to the corner, to the back, to the corner, and to the side. Now that's a lot of them, so you, practically speaking, you probably wouldn't do a whole turn with eight of them in a row. However, if you only need to make a quarter turn, or if you need to make a half turn, or if you have a lot of things going on in your stage where you might have some people in a bit of a holding pattern while something else is a feature, that could be an option. Well, I hope that you liked our little fun with figure eights idea session today. So hopefully this gives you some ideas on new ways to use your figure eights in either your drills, your combinations, or in your full choreographies. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button right there. Maybe share it with a dance friend you think might find it interesting as well. And if you didn't receive this in your direct email, then the Belly Dance Quickies are actually an email subscription that comes out three times a week on Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. This is the only one that's a YouTube video, so there's lots of other good content coming two days a week that if you're not on the list, then you might be missing. But if you go down to the box down there again, and you find the link for that, you can sign yourself up for free. So I hope you guys have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.